Hey guys, we are back for another brew day, another fresh hop brew day. Uh, so last weekend I used my own hops from my hop plant. And today we're going to be using these fresh Taiheke New Zealand Cascade hops, which I just picked up yesterday from uh, Hauraki Home Brew. So we're going to be using those in this beer over here. So at the moment I'm doing a 60 minute mash. Um, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it's uh, going to be a red IPA. The lighting in here is pretty poor at the moment. Um, so yeah, red IPA and calling it uh, Fresh Rusty Nail IPA. So it's made up of Gladfield's Ale Malt, Vienna Malt, uh, Medium Crystal, Shepherd's Delight. I'm going to bitter it again with uh, Pacific Jade like I did last week. And then I'm going to split the um, uh, fresh hops for 250 grams and at 5 minutes and the other 250 grams we'll do as a hop stand. So, Okay guys, we'll let this mash finish and we'll come back uh, at the next stage. Cheers. Okay guys, we've finished the 60 minute mash and I did a quick uh, 10 minute mash out at 76 degrees. So I've just got the malt pipe sitting on the rack here, just collecting my pre-boil volume. Um, I have been doing a lot of no sparge, but today I actually decided to uh, do some do a sparge. So we've sparge with four liters of water as well. So yeah, we'll just let that drain, um, just bringing the uh, liquid up to the boil, and then we'll be back with the first hop drop. Okay, so we've just come up to the boil now, so I'm going to put in my bittering hops, so that's 12 grams of Pacific Jade, and then we'll come back when we do the uh, fresh hop uh, drops. So we're just about at five minutes from the end of the boil, got the chiller in there just uh, sterilizing, so we'll get the first lot of uh, fresh tahiki, so I've divided it, oop, almost tripped over, divided it into two lots of 250 grams, so here's the first lot here, it smells absolutely amazing, got some decent sized cones there, here's a good, here's a good one there, so yeah, let's, uh, let's drop them all in. In we go. Beautiful. So I'll uh, stop here, we'll uh, get the spoon and stir those in and then we'll be back when we do the second uh, drop. Okay, boil has finished. Um, just cooled the wort down to, it's just dropping slightly still, but to 80 degrees. And we're going to put in the other 250 grams of hops. We'll uh, stir those in and we'll do a bit of a whirlpool, well I'm not sure we'll get a whirlpool in there because there's no liquid showing, but we'll stir that in and we'll do a like a 20 minute hop stand and uh, we'll come back. Smelling absolutely amazing, hopefully that transfers through to the finished beer, so we'll catch you shortly. Okay, so we've finished um, cooling down the wort as much as I can anyway. So we're just going to transfer it into the fermenter using the old uh, the old one here because the other one's still full. But, uh, we'll grab a sample. There we go. Check out the colour on that. Looking beautiful. Very happy with that. Okay, we will finish doing the transfer um, and we'll come back with a Probably do a wrap up of the uh, how the samples tasting. Cheers, guys! It's getting foamy. Well, I'll just um, give you a quick look. Um, so yeah, just got probably probably ten liters on the nose with the once the foam dies down. So pitch the old faithful USO five. Come back in a second. Here is the finished hydro sample, so it came out at 1048, uh, I don't know if you can see that, but it's nice and clear, a lot of that's down to the, well, Wurflock plus the um, 
using those fresh Taihiki bit hops. It's bright out here. Um, yeah, so hopefully you can get a better idea of the colour. So the Shepherd's Delight's uh, responsible for most of that. So I think um, you guys that can't get Shepherd's Delight, you could use Cara Red or uh, I think you have access to Red X Malt. So um, yeah, we'll get a anyway. We'll get a taste on it. Tastes nice. Um, nice sweetness there. Bit of uh, dryness, um, or yeah, dryness from the Shepherd's Delight, and then getting some nice freshness from those fresh hops. Yeah, a little bit of um, like citrus. Um, yeah, yeah, no, happy with how it's tasting. Obviously, it's going to change um, in the finished beer, but yeah, it tastes real fresh. Some nice malt flavour coming through. Um, good bitterness as well. Aimed about the mid 40s IBUs. So uh, yeah, happy days. Thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you. In the next video. I'll put the recipe in the description below if you're interested. Over and out.